All right, refs, are you ready? Drivers, are you ready? Looks like the scorekeeper's ready, so we will begin in three, two, one, go! Quickly moving those foundations on both alliances. Except 14431 doesn't quite get it into the build site. The Red Alliance has moved the foundation in the build site, and it looks like two robots are underneath the sky bridge. 14431 goes for a stone, doesn't quite get it. But they are now under a sky bridge, and they move away from it. That's the end of the autonomous period. Driver, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. Spring into action. 2845 quickly going for a stone to bring over to the building zone. There's a Red Alliance robot in the blue depot, which is a penalty. 2845 going for another stone. 14431 doesn't quite get the stone for stacking. Ten one sixty eight is going for the first stone of the match on the Red Alliance Foundation. Blue Alliance still trying to line up to get a stone, and they do. Let's see how it places on the foundation. Right in the corner there. Nice. Meanwhile, on the Red Alliance, another stone is coming into action on the building zone. Lining up. And it gets placed for a stack of two on the red foundation. On the other side of the field, we've got robots picking up stones and moving them into the building zone. 2845 grabs one from the depot, while 10, 168 on the red alliance positions for a third stack. Pyrites on the blue alliance. Places a second stone on the foundation. Looks like Red Alliance just missed that stone. And we've got a little tornado defense going with the Red Alliance. It is now the end game period. Although it looks like we're still doing some stone stacking. What I really like about these capstones is that some of them are small and functional while others are big and beautiful. But they all work just the same. Looks like Pyrites is in the build site for the Blue Alliance. 7341 moves into the build site for the Red Alliance. And that's the end of the match. Blue Alliance looks like they've got two robots in the build site.